I, I just. I, 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 I just don't do interviews, bro. Like, people be cussing on interviews, and I just I try to stay away from it because you you really the monetization be limited, all that. But I do want to talk about this. I interviewed Jerk, right? And the reason why I interview Jerk is because I see a couple of things that's kind of going on. I see a lot of lies being told about Kid Slade. You know what I mean? So I'm just I, I'm gonna be real, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it like this: people are gonna get mad. I think there's a lot of inconsistencies with what Jerk is saying. I seen the the live with, with Rock went on caffeine and he had Jerk on there, and I heard Lady Caution saying that Kid Slade pointed out a gun and he did. None of that happened in the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? This ain't going at them or nothing like that. They want to continue to pursue it. They can. I ended up reading the case with Rainer. You know, all that situation that happened with the, you know, Rainer getting, you know what I mean? The assault in the first degree, the conspiracy, the assault. I read that case with the victim, Torres, you know, the guy that was trying to look for drugs. And, you know, it's like a 24-hour convenience store that everybody used to go to. And it was a spot where people were selling drugs around. You know, jerk and, you know what I mean, the guy... You know, who Rainer, you know, I ain't gonna say what his name is though, that y'all already could put it together, you know, was mad at the dude for selling drugs around the area, you know, and they approached like, you know, Doster's, let's say Slade's brother, and asked the Slade's brother, like, you know, this dude selling drugs, and Slade's brother's like, no, nah, I don't know him. Next thing he know, he's seen the dude running, you know, in the back of the store, like, with a gun, and all kind of craziness just, you know, went off, and then Jerk ended up shooting a dude in the back, it was all in the paperwork, you know, so I'm, I'm like, I'm looking at all this, and I'm looking, and the reason why I'm looking through the, the paperwork is I'm trying to see where it says Kid Slay had anything to do with why this guy got arrested, there's a lot of witnesses, and there's a lot of people that was talking, you know, Campos was a witness, there's a lot of people that was witnesses in that case, on the Rainer case, you know, and Slade was nowhere to be found on any of that. He had nothing to do with why this guy got arrested. As far as I'm concerned, I was looking at why Slade was in jail, like Operation Grinch, you know, and from what it looked like to me with the whole situation that happened with Ape and, you know what I mean, like all these people and, and uh, you know, Slade's brother, it looked like to me like they got lined up, bro. You know what I mean? And like Slade could have, been in some trouble, you know, and even though, you know, Slade was in that situation and he got lined up, him and his brother got lined up, he didn't roll. Like, he 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 said, like, I don't know where the gun is. I don't know nothing about a gun. I don't know nothing. Because you got one person who's saying, like, yo, there's something, it was a loud shot, like an M80, you know what I'm saying? And people saying, like, they, like, it must be guns around and all this, and eight must have had a, had a gun. Like, all these people saying that, the kid Slade is the only one saying, like, yo, like, like, I don't know what no gun at. If anybody should have snitched that day, it should have been Slade. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't do that. You know, and I see everybody running. Yeah, he, he said, like, yo, there was a fight. Like, bro, once they catch you up on something... Then you saying like, yo, I don't know these people. And then they, they get you say, oh, then why are you in video and all this? Like, yeah, you can make a choice to like perjure yourself and just keep quiet and go to jail for longer. But he said, yo, I don't know like none of what y'all are talking about. All I know is that a fight happened. It was just a fight. And you know what I'm saying? It was a bottle in the fight. He ain't talking about the gun. He ain't talking about nothing that could have got everybody locked up right there. You know what I'm saying? So... Like, the whole notion of calling him a snitch from what I'm reading everything, like, I don't see it. I see, like, he said, like, you know what I mean? Like, whoever's names was in the video, you know what I mean? Or who was involved in the fight, but it's called going as far as calling him a snitch when they got a, they could have got lined up, bruh. You know what I mean? And probably been up out of here. The way this dude ate sound and who he is and all these other cases and all that, bruh. Like, it looks like the cops is the ones that, you know... MGBR or whatever, like, they're the ones that saying, like, that's who Ape and all these people are really known as. It seemed like Kid Slater's just saying, I don't know these people as these names. I know these people as being my friends. This is what he's saying. You know, so, like, I think what's going on right now is that jerk dude that I ended up interviewing, they lining you up, Rock. This is what it sounds like. They're trying to make it to where, like, this whole situation that happened with Rainer or Abel, whatever you want. This whole situation happened with the other case had nothing to do with that fight. It was not linked to the fight. It was nothing. That dude is being charged with like conspiracy 
to commit assault, you know what I'm saying? And assault in the first degree. That has nothing to do with that case. You know what I'm saying? So in my personal opinion, I think Slade messed up to where he shouldn't have said anything. You know what I mean? But when they when he said, I don't know these people, and he already caught up in the Operation Grinch and people snitching on him, he could have snitched on everybody to got out of that situation, and he didn't. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I know I'm going to take a lot of heat for this. People going to get mad, but I do not feel like Slade is a snitch how people saying. You know what I mean? I don't think this is not what this is not no Adi Boom situation where he's sitting and testifying and giving, you know what I mean, a Jamaican accent and doing all this ain't nothing like that, bro. You know what I mean? And they using you rocked and they playing you, bro. Like Jerk is sitting up there on caffeine trying to connect the dots and he can't do it. That's why I ended up interviewing him trying to see whether or not he can connect the dots. I knew he couldn't. Well, I was talking to him before earlier, and I'm asking him, like, yo, where is the paperwork? He's like, no, I just want to go live so I can. I'm like, no, where, show, where is the paperwork? Like, I got 50,000 people sitting on this channel. They have to see paperwork. You can't just get up here and say, you know what I mean? I see this, and I, you know what I mean? This is going on, and that is going on, and you can't substantiate that. Oh, well, I just need to go. All right, all right, I'm going to see what you're going to do a rock. He goes on right, he can't substantiate. All right, like, come on here, now we're going to talk. And then he keeps saying, like, go back to Rock Slide, watch Rock Slide. When you saying so many lies, you cannot remember your lies, jerk. You can't. That's why you got to keep saying, go back to Rock Slide. You on, you on Piper Boy Wins channel, and it's time to talk right now. And you can't substantiate this case, bro. And you putting all, from what I'm reading about Hartford, you know, like in all these shootings and all that stuff, that's a dangerous place, bro. And, you know, you kind of, I mean, it's in the paperwork, it's public record. You ain't, you kind of dangerous yourself. You know what I mean? So you already know what this is. Like, the yeah, the paperwork is probably already out on Kid Slade of the situation that happened. The Operation Grinch, everybody already knows about that. You know, and they know he didn't roll and he didn't tell what Operation Grinch. All he say backed up his brother on a story like, yeah, like it was a fight. He could have said there was a gun involved and they tried to line us up and get us up out of here. He could have said that. He didn't say that, you know, and you putting this on him that he's a snitch trying to ruin his career. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. I will say these are some real tight dudes. Rock, I'm being real with you. You know what I'm saying? You playing with fire, dealing with people like this. You know, jerk ain't no... You know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't no innocent person. You know what I mean? Like, looking into this case and what's going on with the Rainer case. This dude, this is like the wire, for real. Like, that was, oh, we ain't in no gang. It says it in the paperwork y'all is. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't saying whatever. Like, that Rainer case, like, y'all was running hard for y'all was running that, that area. Anybody that came in there selling drugs, y'all was getting them up out of here. That's what y'all was doing. Shooting whatever y'all had to do. They got you know, paperwork, witnesses, and all that. I don't even know how you even free. Being real, this dude, Rainer, ain't no way he getting out, bro. Ain't no way. I see the appeals. I see all the witnesses of what they saying, bro. Every, all the witnesses' statements are basically corroborating each other, bro. Like, y'all standing there like, I, like, bro, I, 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 man, forget all this. I ain't about to say too much. Like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's in the paperwork. It's the court documents. You know, the dude that was, like, selling drugs over there, y'all didn't want him doing that. Y'all went in the back, beat him up with a bat, got him on the ground, and jerk shot him in the back. That's what the court documents say. You know, then there's, like, another shooting that ended up happening, like, short 12 hours after that. You know what I mean? And jerk is involved. That's all I'm saying. It's, it says it in the paperwork. You know what I mean? His paperwork, he don't want to show, like, he's involved in all this, bruh. You know what I mean? Sitting on the corner waiting and if dude don't do it, then he going to use him. It's in the paperwork saying that. Like, and so it's like, bro, Rock, you dealing with some people you don't want to be dealing with. And y'all can't be on caffeine saying that Kid Slay is pointing out a gun and he's not doing that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what is the purpose of going this far? I think what they did was they had a little bit of information of Slay saying a fight happened. You know, and they took that information and they blew it out of proportion. That's what I think is happening. Do I think Slade should be kicked out of Battle Rap? No, not for that. You know what I mean? He's going to have to wear, you know, people are always going to use this as an angle. But it looked like they was, they was getting lined up. That wasn't, 
wasn't just supposed to be a mute. And then like after the music video, why did Jerk hit the person that did the, the music video was like, I need that video now because they thought something would have got caught on tape. You know what I'm saying? That's why he was after that. He was after that music video. You know what I'm saying? This ain't like y'all just, we all think, oh, it's just a music video and a fight hat. Bruh, this is deep. This is a lot deeper than what people think. You know what I mean? That's all I'm going to say. But putting a, the label of a snitch on this guy, I think they were banking on people not reading the cases. It's what they were banking on. They were just thinking that like, people were just going to read the lines of when they caught kids slayed up. It's like, what you mean you don't know who these people like who was, you know what I mean? And he's saying like, oh, well, yeah, a fight happened and I broke up a fight. It's what he's saying. A fight happened with my brother and I, I ended up breaking up the fight. That's what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? I don't know these people by these names. I know these are my friends. I know them by these names. You know what I'm saying? Friends' names. That's it. You know what I mean? But I don't know. You know what I mean? But that, yeah, that's too much for some people. But Slate could have snitched a lot. He was sitting in jail on Operation Grinch. He could have said something and got out and he never did. He could have... They could have been, bro, you don't think they've been looking at Ape? Like, from what I'm reading with Ape, bro, Ape is dangerous. They already know about the whole gang and everything that's been going. They've been watching y'all for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, they could have locked y'all up over something more than a fight, like, a long time ago, from what they've been looking at. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't, this don't have nothing to do with it. I don't know about the, <laughs> you know, like, um, what's his name? Jerk Sean, like, it looked like somebody hand drew, like, a Rico case and talking about, oh, this is an enterprise. This is an enterprise. This is just like the, the YSL. This is an enterprise. Like, what are you talking about? That was a fight. You trying to link that to an enterprise and do all that? Come on, bro. Now, I'm not saying y'all wasn't involved in the enterprise. The court documents kind of say y'all had a little game going on. I'm just saying what the court I'm a severe. I say whatever. I'm saying what the court documents is saying. Y'all had gang activity going on. Kid Slade did not try to link or, or like, what did he say when he was on caffeine? Oh, yeah, he trying to link names with the, the gang activity and do it. Like, he ain't do, Slade ain't do none of that. Y'all can't read. And I know you can't read, jerk, because you sitting there trying to get caution and rock to read. You can't read. You got all that paperwork right there and you can't even read. Your own, the own paperwork to know, like, what's going on. You know, so you trying to line these battlers up, bro. They're going to be at different events. Like, this ain't like Battle Rap H. You know what I mean? Might Some people might be in the streets. I think Kid Slay, from what I'm reading, what he might be a lot more street than a lot of these battle rappers, like, when I'm reading about him. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just being real. Like, that whole, like, yeah, like, backing up his brother. People don't feel however they're going to feel about that. But a lot of battlers, like, Rock, you're going to be at events. You know what I'm saying? These are some dudes that you, you don't want to be getting, you know what I'm saying, involved with. They're going to know when you're going to be battling, bro. This is deep. You know, yeah, you're on stage with Slade and y'all talking like, let's fight him off. But you messing with some, bro, these ain't regular people. Like, that Harford is real. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that to say this. If you lost the battle, you lost the battle. You know what I'm saying? The the paperwork, bringing the paperwork out, the angle. If you feel like that angle was sufficient enough, we'll see on the 25th when the battle drops. But as far as what Jerk is saying, I don't believe nothing with this dude is saying, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. That's why I brought him on. And I'm having people like, yo, like, well, you don't know. Uh, he could say, uh, you know, he trying not to say that that led to the, the other cases. And I'm like, no, he's trying not to say it because it didn't. Like, Jerk is sitting there thinking I'm stupid when I know everything that's going on and I'm asking him questions to try to get him to substantiate what he's claiming and he can't do it. All he's saying is like, yo, go watch Rock Live. What? So what, I'm going to watch Rock Live for you to just talk in circles and eat pizza? You didn't even know what you was doing on Rock Live, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you got them sitting there trying to ask you questions and you don't even know the answers to the questions. Like, I think y'all should have really read... Like the whole the Rainer case, the whole everything that went on with Slay and not just what was highlighted and going off of that. The snitch in this whole situation is his brother. You know what I mean? That's the guy that pointed out the shooter in the Rainer case for the, uh, you know, the uh, conspiracy to assault, you know what I'm saying, to commit assault and then assault in the first degree. That's who y'all should be like looking at. You know what I mean? Because, and I'm looking because I'm like, yo, why is like, Kid Slay's brother going so crazy, like trying to get this dude locked up. 
Because they trying to line them up. Bruh, it's what it looks like. At least it's what it looked like to me. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying that's right. You know what I mean? You snitching, you snitching, you snitching. But as far as Kid Slay, y'all trying to make Kid Slay his brother. That's not what the paperwork says. Y'all need to be... Like, I think that's how he sold it. He probably sold it like, yo, uh, he's snitching in this case and that case. And they think you probably going to see Doster or whatever the, their last name is, Doster, and not look at the first names. Kid Slade's brother is the snitch. Kid Slade is not the snitch in the Rainer case. He's not. He has nothing to do with it. I'm looking at the appellate court, the appeals. I'm looking at all that. I'm looking to try to see whether or not Kid Slade... Doster, like his name is in there anyway. It's nowhere in there. It's a whole different time. It's a whole different. You can't even link. It's a whole different time and that happened. Like, what is y'all doing, bro? You know what I'm saying? But I think this is a situation of where they had be, and I'm not saying, like, I see people saying, like, yo, and I even said it to, to uh jerk, like, why ain't you approach Kid Slay? Well, he did say on Rocks Live, he was just like, and I told him multiple times I watch Rocks Live. I don't know why you keep referring back to it. But when I watch Rocks Live, like they asking him, like, yo, when's the last time you see Slay? He said, I seen him in the mall, I was with my daughter or whatever. I see people saying, Oh, well, oh, he's soft, he ain't want to do nothing to Slay. He said, Slay ice grilled him. Like, why is Slay sitting there ice grilling you like that? Bro, y'all tried to line that dude up, bro. Wait a minute. Well, it looked like to me, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think I think Slade is really was in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I think he was. I don't know if he is now, but I think he was. I think he's more street than a lot of y'all. I think he could have rolled on people, but he didn't. You know what I'm saying? All he did was just point out like, yeah, it was a fight, my brother. Like they trying to jam y'all up on guns. And he said, no, nah. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, it was just a fight. It was a little bottle, a fight. The other dude, Antron, acting like he don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on. Like, how you get injured? Like, what was it? I don't know nothing's going on. Oh, this happened somewhere else. This was at a gas station. This happened somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, he acting like he don't know nothing. You know, but y'all trying to, bro, y'all is wild out here. And I see a lot of people running with it there in spaces all day, talking, oh, he need to get out of bed. Y'all don't even, y'all ain't even read the case. Either one of them. Y'all know what's going on. I think what's going on is Slade is a rising star. A lot of y'all ceilings, y'all already, y'all already up here. He's got a higher ceiling. He's a lot more talented than a lot of people. A lot of people said even with the paperwork coming out, he still won the battle 3-0. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got to see this battle to see the ending of all of this. You know what I'm saying? At least with the battle. Because Rock, like he just... It, did he win the battle? Like, why is everybody saying he won three? I'm curious to see what's going to happen. He's got a higher ceiling. And I see Verb and different people saying, like, yo, we ain't about to battle him. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are we going to battle him and he ratting in his snit? He ain't ratting. It don't sound like it to me. It sound like he, he's told about a fight. He's sitting in jail. He can get more time because he lied already. You know what I'm saying? He told about a fight. But all this, like, that can be interpreted as snitching. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how you're going to get out of that slate. I'm just being real. But, like, all this, we ain't going to battle him, and we ain't going to have y'all ain't even read the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I think they a lot of people are going way too far with this situation. I don't think he is a snitch. From what I look like, I don't think, like, jerk know what the hell he talking about. I think he's just getting up there and running his mouth and fit, thinking that we all stupid and we're going to think Kid Slade is his brother. That's what I think. But as far as him saying anything involving the fight, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, y'all can take that for what y'all. I think that was a bad move. But if I'm looking at it and I'm in the street, I'm like, yeah, that was bad. But this dude, he just went through Operation Grinch sitting in jail. He could have rolled on everybody and he didn't. You know what I'm saying? He could have said something about the gun and he didn't. Yeah, he may, may have made a bad move, but I can't like can't really call him a snitch because he could have snitched a couple times. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion on it. Y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. People going to be mad. I don't care. I'm not here to just make everybody happy. I'm here to look at what I can find out and tell y'all what I think. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, y'all going to y'all gonna say whatever y'all going to say. But I think jerk is just jerking y'all around and he got y'all looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think. Y'all sitting on caffeine talking to him 
looking crazy. He don't even he eating pizza. He don't even know what to put on the pizza. He got pineapples and, and sardines and I'm like, where's you pin on your pizza? Jerk, wait a minute. His pizza looks sketchy. I'm like, what is he eating? He trying to point the names like, but look at this case. Look at this name. Go to this case. Look at this name. See what I'm saying? What does this say? Hierarchy. What is that? Say? Like, what are you talking about? Why do you got sardines on your pizza jerk? Wait a minute. I asked, I asked Jerk so many questions, his friend got on the phone. Give me that phone. Get who you talking to. Give me that phone. You mess that up. Who is this? Get off the phone. I don't want to talk to you. About, get off the phone. I'm trying to save you, Jerk, because you, you ain't know what to do. You thought I was just going to get on here and just, oh, yeah, slay the snitch. Slay the snitch. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not what's going to happen. I'm going to ask you some questions. You're saying a lot. you coming in a battle rap saying a lot. I want to know, like, can you substantiate this? And you can't. And I just read the whole case. And the Rainer dude, I don't think he's getting out, bro. Like, that, you got way too many. There's a lot of people telling and witnessing. And as far as dirt, I don't even know how you free, like, being real. Talking about, oh, this is a battle rap culture, snitching and snitching. Come in, crowd. He's like, what do you say? This ain't hip hop culture. So, committing crime is, I guess. I don't know. He was doing a lot. <laughs> you ain't think I was going to read. He was trying to cover up his paperwork. He, he, had that, he had that folder. He kept trying to cover up his paperwork. He's like, I got all the pa Wait, wait. Got all the paperwork, making sure it's closed. Man, I went on Google. Like, why? what is he hiding? Jerk is hiding a lot. And Jerk has got a lot of reason to be saying to try to get other people in trouble or put situations on other people. It's what it looked like to me. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Like, if y'all y'all said y'all reading all the paperwork on caffeine, did y'all actually read it? Or did y'all skim through it? Did y'all out here calling Slade a snitch? And that ain't, he ain't had nothing to do with that. He got 10 years, he gave one person 10 years and, and, and this person 37 years, another person got 60 years and then Jerk got caught up in that. I'm like, why are you saying all that? And, well, no, I had to clarify that on. I had to clarify. Like, Come on. You ain't clarified nothing. You thought you was talking to a dummy. That's what you thought. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't clarified nothing, bro. Like, you wow. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to everybody. I don't know. I'm just being impartial looking at everything. But if I had to look at everything, I don't think Slade is out of battle rap, bro. I don't think he is. I think he... He gonna have to deal with some some angles that people say, "Oh, well, you your brother was in a fight, you ain't help him." You you told about a fight. Now, he could have said a lot more, you know what I'm saying? But in my book, who am I? I'm just a blogger. I that ain't enough to take him out of a contract. That ain't enough to get him off of a stage. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? But y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comments. I gotta guess that's why I like going live. I wasn't supposed to talk about the other case. <laughs> I was just saying what I felt about the interview. On the interview, dude got caught up. He ain't know what to say. Oh, but this was this case. You know when something happening, it could be in with this case. Show me the case. But this case can link to that case. And then the, the dude is sitting on there, like the one that's still in jail, sitting on caffeine with rock. Yeah, that's why I got a sauce. You know what I'm saying? It got to run concurrent with the, you know, what I got charged with. And this is how I got all this charged. And he making it seem like the assault was the fight. The assault was the shooting of the dude getting shot in the back and hit with a baseball bat and beat up in the back of the 24-hour convenience store a whole nother time. Slay, they had nothing to do with that. And they sitting there playing you like you a fool, right? I'm telling you what it is. That's why he laughing on that phone. Him and Jerk already know what it is. The dirt that they just did, they know what's going on. You know, and they're trying to say that that's the same. It's not. It's a whole different situation. Slave brother getting into a fight or them fighting or fighting over Slave that they ain't got nothing to do. That's a whole nother, that's a drug case. A drug and attempted murder that they, you lucky they charge you with assault. 
You know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother situation. Y'all went and followed, followed a dude in the back of a convenience store and did all that. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to say it's slave. It's, that's the assault charge. It's not. That's what you got charged with. You know what I'm saying? Y'all crazy, y'all. Wow, y'all. Wow. They think we stupid battle rap. They think we stupid. And that's why we shouldn't, as a culture, allow people to just come in here from anywhere and talk. You know, and have like somewhat of a say so on whether or not we want to see people again because they'll come in here and say anything. That's why I'm telling him on the phone, I don't care what he's saying. He can say anything. Where is the paperwork? You can't substantiate or show the paperwork. You can't. You say, oh, well, check Rocks Live. The, he said I couldn't get the code D on the phone. Yeah, you got him on the phone. He's just saying anything. I'm catching him in lies. I'm reading the paperwork and listening to what he's saying to Rock. He's lying. He's lying. Do y'all know what a lie is? I swear, I couldn't be an attorney. I could not be an, a criminal attorney. I, I do medical malpractice. I cannot do a, be a criminal attorney because y'all don't be... Understand, y'all be lying so much, y'all be believing the lie. He's sitting up there on caffeine talking about, yeah, assault. And this is how I got charged with the assault and the assault and the assault. N no, you got, <laughs> y'all tried to potentially end somebody's life. That's why you got charged with that. And they couldn't particularly say you put the bullet in them. It said that jerk did it. You know what I'm saying? But you you went up to Mark Doster and you asked him, yo, who is this dude? Because it was a guy that was like trying to find like heroin. You know what I'm saying? He was selling drugs and he's seen a girl. I think her name is like Du Bois or something. Like he's seen a girl. He's like, yo, you know where I can get some drugs? She's like, yeah, I know a place where you get some drugs. They went, drove around to another spot, got some drugs, drove back to the 24-hour store. She was going up to the store because at the top of the store, it's like an apartment. You know what I mean? And that's where they go and do drugs or whatever on top of the store. And he was trying to follow her up to the store because he liked her. And she's like, yep, you know, up to the apartment. He liked her. And she was like, no, you can't come up here. Don't nobody know you. That's what she's saying. And he's like, no, I want to come up there anyway. She's like, no, you really can't come up here. Don't nobody know you. He pushed his way up there anyway. This is the victim. So he goes up there and he asking people, he trying to give out drugs and asking people like, you know, what's up? Like, what y'all like and all that? This is the paperwork is saying. And then the people that he, one of the people that he ends up having a problem with comes up there. Like, and they're like, yo, like, what you doing up here? Don't nobody know you. Like, why you up here? They, they bring him out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, get up out of here. You know, and then like when the dude leaves, he goes behind the store and the dude goes and he talks to Mark Doster. He's like, yo, you know this dude? Why is he around the block? And everybody know that gang don't let nobody go around that block selling but them. You know what I mean? Or they're going to deal with you. It's what it is. And then when Mark said, I don't know the dude, the dude said, all right, I'm going to holler at him. That's what it says in the paperwork. He walks off. Next thing they know, a dude with a black hoodie on, wearing all black with a gun, runs in the back. That's what they say. You know what I'm saying? And then they hear a shot go off. You know? And then they, one of the witnesses is saying the jerk is the one that pulled the trigger. So I don't know if he went back there and gave him the gun. I don't know what it is. But this is what it's saying in the paperwork. You know, and the dude gets shot in the back. They're trying to get the ballistics from the bullet, and they can't because it's lodged in the guy's spine. This is what it says. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that don't have nothing to do with Slade. You know what I mean? We ain't stupid out here, bro. You wilding. Check rock live. So I can watch you eat pizza. Wait a minute. You know I kind of went to school for a couple things. Y'all wild out here, bruh. Y'all wild. It's different. It's different. That's why you ain't do nothing when you seen Slade. Because it's a whole different situation. You think we stupid. Listen to that interview. Listen to him talk. And when he start getting, and he don't know what to say, he put the dude takes the phone from him. And y'all saying, like, yo, like, on caffeine, this ain't going that rock or nothing. Like, I'm just saying, y'all putting yourself in unnecessary danger over this. Unless you got super concrete evidence that he's getting people time. And y'all, like, there's videos with, like, 40, 50,000 views on Hip Hop Is Real saying that he's responsible for giving these murderers time. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't do that. 
So it's like, what does he? Uh, y'all apologize for that? Do y'all still let that rot? And then y'all on caffeine saying he pointing out a gun in a whole different other case, and he's not. He said something about a bottle. He ain't say nothing about a gun. Operation Grinch, when he was involved in, like early on, he ain't snitch on none of them. They tried to line him and his brother up. Slade probably wouldn't be here no more. Like being real, he probably could have got killed. Like looking at that, and he didn't even roll on the dudes that probably could have killed him and his brother. Let's be real. You know what I mean? Y'all like just skimming through paperwork instead of reading the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about that. I'm just a blog away. Wait a minute. That's it. I ain't got nothing against you, jerk, but I don't like being lied to, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't. You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of y'all, y'all can still roll with the whole snitch thing with Slate if y'all want to, but I think a lot of people are taking it too far. I'm hearing a lot of spaces I ain't saying no names. They in spaces talking like, he talking about the gun. He's snitching on the gun. He's snitching on like the, the ape. He's snitching on this person. You know what I'm saying? And, and then this person ended up being in the murder. And, and this person, he snitched on the murder. and all, Like, this is what y'all saying. And that ain't going down. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about that. Peace. Hate is crazy. It's a crazy joke.